Evening guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be showing you how I created this like rabbit kind of sexy rabbit Halloween look. <laughs> so I did do this once before and it went terribly wrong. So this is my second attempt and I'm going to be taking the Pretty Little Thing Selfie Ready Essential Collection Palette. I'm going to be mixing the bronzer shade and the orangey eyeshadow shade together and this is going to act as my transition shade and the crease. I'm also going to be taking this contour shade and popping this all over the eyelid. Excuse my voice at the moment, I am very ill so I sound sick. Taking that darker brown, I'm just going to apply that on top to make the eyeshadow colour and look. I just wanted something soft but smoky on the eye. I'm going to be grabbing a flat shader brush and some black eyeshadow and I'm going to be running this along the waterline to make like a smoky eyeliner fill which just gives it a little bit more of like a theatrical look I guess. It's smoky but it's a little bit more heavy. And then for mascara, I'm going to be taking the PLT Little Mascara. Just to let you guys know, I am in collaboration with them for this Halloween look. So I just wanted to let you know because they have launched their new makeup range. And then I'm taking a winged liner brush using the same eyeshadow and just creating like a soft kind of winged liner not on the outer corner, but keeping the rest of it really smoky. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and my concealer, pretty much the base of my makeup. I'm going to go quite heavy, I want like a full coverage kind of look. And then I'm going to fill in my brows, I'm going to do them like normal, apart from the inner part of my brows. I'm going to create longer hairs, so I try and look like a rabbit. That is the goal today, so that's what I'm going to do. Then taking the Malibu Tan Bronzer, I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush and apply this on all the areas that you would normally apply bronzer, so like cheekbones, forehead, chin, a little bit underneath my nose. And then I'm taking this highlighter palette on on the back, it says brighter than your future highlighting palette. So I'm going to take literally all four shades and I'm going to highlight the hell out of my cheekbones, my forehead, my chin, a little bit on my nose. This palette is beautiful, I love all the shades like mixed together, it makes a perfect combo. And then I'm going to take some blusher, this one is the Mermaid Kiss blusher and I'm going to pop some on the apples of my cheeks, kind of blending down into the contour. Then I'm going to whack on some eyelashes and Alex interrupts me filming, I'm trying to be annoying. <laughs> Anyway, enough of that, PDA. I'm gonna be taking some orange eyeshadow and popping this on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow on a little domed brush and apply that to the outer corner and stop just before we get to the inner corner. Cause then what I'm gonna do is take an eyeliner brush and make like an inner corner point, but I'm gonna go slightly down. I feel like cartoon rabbit characters always have this kind of feel to their eyes. It makes them look bigger. Um, and then they always put like, um, big long lashes on the outer corner at the bottom so that's what I'm going to try and achieve as well then on a contour brush I'm going to mix the brown and black together and I'm going to start shading in my face where I would normally like bronze um, this is just going to add a little bit of like a Halloweeny feel to the look just make it a little bit more like dark and sinister even though it's going to be a cute little bunny but just adds to the look, I thought. I'm also going to use the same colours, um, but this time on an eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to apply that on the outer corner of my lips. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights And then I'm going to pop some on the tip of my nose This is going to act as like shading underneath the bunny nose Then I'm going to take a baby pink 
liquid lipstick and I'm going to pop this on my nose to act as like the bunny nose and I'm also going to apply some to my lips as well. On the Pretty Little Thing website you can purchase face paints and I went and got the white face paint and what I'm going to do is use a damp little sponge and I'm going to sponge this above my top lip and this is going to act as like that little white patch that you normally see on like bunnies that normally like cartoon bunnies kind of thing. So I'm going to blend that out ready to put the whiskers on. I'm also going to apply this a little bit underneath the bottom lip as well just to kind of tie the whole look in together. And then I'm just going to take my Madison Makeup Angled Brow Brush and I'm just going to create some whiskers onto my rabbit look. And I did this trick before I realised I actually had an eyeliner. I just took an angled brush and took some of the mascara um, like in the pot and I used that to kind of create the whiskers but then I realised afterwards I did have an eyeliner. So I could have just used eyeliner, but I went and did this instead. <laughs> and then I'm going to create a line that goes down from the nose to the lip, which kind of separates the nose and the mouth section. At first I was thinking this looks very cat-like, but then once I coloured it in and drew over like the line of my top lip with some brown and black liner, I felt like it was getting more rabbity. Then I'm taking some white paint and I'm just going to draw a little line over one side of my mouth and then draw a little dot on my nose just to make it look a little bit more like shiny and again like cartoon like. Then for the finishing touches I'm going to be taking my rabbit ears, These are, this is a lace of black rabbit ears that you can get from Pretty Little Thing, it has like a foldy thing that you can put over your eyes but I want people to see my um, eyeshadow so I did fold that up and then I tweaked the ears to kind of suit where I wanted them to sit and then I added some gloves to make a glam little rabbit Halloween look. Um, I am planning on doing one more Halloween look so hopefully I'll get that done for you guys before Halloween and anyway I hope you like this video and until next time I miss you and I'll see you very soon.